numbers back here with the Union trying to preserve this 1-0 lead on the block. Bo, good touch. Buchanan walking in. Oh, he scores! Tejan Buchanan equalizes. Level at one. All the way up on the other end of the field. You never know where it's going to end up. This time it ended up in the back of the net. The bad clearance ends up with uh, the Revs getting the ball and the Revs capitalize on it to go right down the middle of the field. I mean, Diego racing towards the goal. Has a couple of trailing runners, goes towards Buchanan. Tejan comes through hard, settles it. Back to Diego, in on the keeper, 3-0. Flag is down. Tejan Buchanan tracking. Wins the tackle over Wanyama and then the unselfish pass Finds win. Holster snaps his pass to Tejan. He has two runners. Jones to the outside. Takes a shot instead and buries it from downtown. Tejan smacks it into the back of the net. The Rams starts with Polster playing it wide. Tejan gets on it. Dewan Jones running. Kai Wagner has to honor that run. The fence drops off and he just lashes it. He waits. And then he makes close to Tejan Buchanan, who stretches to control. Long touch to get away from Yao. Good speed. To the near post and in. Fantastic start to the second half for the New England Revolution. And Griffin Yao cannot keep up with Tejan Buchanan. Too much. NYCFC against the Red Bulls. Again, that's not a bad outcome from the Revs. Trying to get position five or especially six. Now Buchanan, centering pass. Bunbury makes it 3-2. Finds Steel Bunbury sitting there, positioned well, and just plays it back to the near post. Nothing built. I react after being in a layoff for essentially two and a half weeks. Now Buchanan through the first challenge out of the second. Too much time and space for Kyle's heel. He understands where the run is going to be from Tejon Buchanan. And then if you're Kai Wagner, you have to tackle the ball, man. You have to tackle the ball. Poor defending. It's a good cut by when we can. In Major League Soccer history, it'll be 70 next September. And today, extending his own record with his 53rd postseason match. Can't recall one of those penalties. Play closer to Gustavo Bo. Just yeah, a common language. Super Air says they speak to each other in a language that he just doesn't understand. But with his signage and gesticulation. Heel. Buchanan. Oh, Russell with the challenge penalty. Yuri Russell on Tejan Buchanan. training held him in good stead injudicious though of Roussel have the nibble but it's more about the 1v1 ability from Tejan Buchanan that late touch gets Yuri Roussel to bait right here that touch right there now he's in a bad spot 100% of penalty but this play originated from Teal Bunbury taking a chance making a run in behind that Orlando City has not played very much this around the corner approach and a consummately converted penalty New England a months ago they started moving players around and one of those players was Buchanan to right back and he's brought a different Tejan Buchanan nominally a right back but still with that attacking spirit about him DK Audi 2020 MLS Cup playoffs on ESPN are presented by Audi's Goals Drive Progress Initiative. Investing $2,000 into the M Pereira. And he had his pocket picked by Buchanan. And off goes Heel. Waiting for Buchanan on his outside. Orlando opened up again here. That should be two, it is Gustavo Bo. The 28 year old from Spain is just unreal. Starts with the tackle here, absolutely. But Carlos Hill recognizes when Buchanan wins this ball and goes forward. Wait a minute, hold on here, I need to wait. Slows down, Janssen slides over and use the pace from the younger player. 
Antonio Carlos delayed with that run with Butsa, so Buchanan is in an onside position, but that all comes off. This is fantastic understanding from Carlos Hill to use the pace for opportunity five minutes in. But this one, Orlando City's been in more rhythm with the ball at their feet, and yet, it's been a frustrating, frustrating 30 minutes for Nani in Orlando City. As he is now showing. Out in the second and half an hour in, New England are in a position of probably unexpected comfort here. Four minutes at Philadelphia in round one. Two goals in nine minutes here. Teammates. Well, don't think this is the first time that they didn't have a conversation about what if at the next level. He just looks comfortable in that position, doesn't he, John? 16th season in MLS. Come to Nani. You can see him right now have his arm in the air telling Nani what kind of ball he wants against his revolution defense. Antonio Carlos, good lead by Buchanan, who was with him, stride for stride. Out away by Farrell. Kamal Miller. Very started in this attack with Nani. It's a foul. Buchanan's having a laugh because it, it, it literally was a pick. Paul Miller just runs right in front of him. I mean, there's no argument. Signals from the Brazilian centre back and his Swedish counterpart. Doesn't bring them immediately into play. Janssen goes up with Farrell, and here's Heel. Buchanan. That's a free kick. As Buchanan is fouled, the referee today is the same man that. Teal Bunbury. And then Buchanan trying to get on the end of it, but the flag was up very early. Same position. I don't think it was for that one there from Buchanan. What a lovely finish from him. Experience that ability to get through difficult situations. And he says this is a, a classic example. I was going to say good ball into. The youngster Buchanan just got to hold that up, wait for some support, tries something a little bit clever and Chris Mavinga's a slow to move there, Buxer. Can't keep up with his teammate Buchanan. Here's Buchanan down the right side. Up it's been a decent battle between those two. Yeah, it's been a great battle. I, I think Larry has won it. So far, it's really been a piece. That one in as the cross came in there to Fuxa. Bradley finds the gap in the midfield and takes advantage of it. Played out for Schaffelberg to chase. And Akello with a foul. Referee Jaime Rufo will just have a 